come take a peek into our day today. I hope it's not too depressing. <laughs> I was in a little bit of a funk. But if you enjoy these vlog type of videos, give this a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and say hello in the comments. Good morning, YouTube friend. All right, I am just getting ready for the day. I think it's like 7.30ish. I feel like I've lived a whole day already. My kids got up early. As um, Soon as my mom gets here, I am going to the gym. I missed yesterday. I had a sick kiddo. Luckily, it was like a super quick bug. She was like fine by the end of the day. Had a few barfing sessions, slight fever, and now she's good. So that's amazing. Um, so I kind of, I didn't work out yesterday. Um, I had all, all the excuses. I could have gone in the garage and worked out, but I just didn't feel like it. But I got a lot of house stuff done and I went through our homeschool crap and reorganized that. I did laundry. I did two loads of laundry. Okay, one of them's still in the dryer, but my mom, bless her heart, has been doing the majority of my laundry lately because I've just been so busy with everything in the book and I'm the worst. Like I'll start a load and I'll flip it, but then it just lives in there for like a week. Um, I feel like my eyebrows do not look even. Oh, we're having some issues. Okay, so this vlog today, where it's stemming from is I feel like I, I'm i bummed that YouTube took away like the stories because I like being like on Instagram. Come follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I love sharing, you know, just behind the scenes of what I'm doing every day and just like stuff like this where I'm like getting ready and I just need to like talk to somebody and vent about things so I'm like okay well I can't do that on YouTube and if I share my stories from Instagram and put them on YouTube they're filmed the wrong way and sometimes that works out great but some of you guys do not like the format of that like it goes the wrong way I don't know so I'm going to just do a little bit more can you guys put excuse me oh my gosh so anyways I thought I would just make a little video today like I would be doing in my stories on Instagram and we'll just see how that goes. So I'm also using this as a way you guys are going to be my therapist and um, hopefully just sharing all this will help cheer me up but I've just been in a little bit of a funk lately <clears throat> the last few days and I think it's also because I've not that I've gone off carnivore plan I'm still eating carnivore foods but I've gone off of like my meal plan that has been like serving me really well which is prioritizing beef um seafood and eggs and I fell off a couple weeks ago I fell off had way too many carnivore cupcakes um got back on track and then fell off again when I was playing around with the recipe for my new bread like, here's the thing about, like, my creative recipes. I think they're great. They make this way of eating sustainable. But I don't think you need to have an entire loaf of bread for breakfast. And then for lunch, have a big bowl of Alfredo sauce with some chicken. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need, you shouldn't be having, like, all these <laughs> gnarly dairy recipes. Or even just, like, the amount of pork rinds that I had. So, I've got to reel it back in because I'm not feeling great. The scale is up. Um, the too much dairy, I can do a little bit of dairy and still lose, but like having too much, I just don't feel my best. And, you know, crap ton of pork rinds. I think I'm realizing I can do some pork rinds. They're delicious and they're great. But I think if I have a lot, like a loaf of bread in a day, um, it makes me actually like really bloated. So anywho, I'm trying to get back on track because I think that kind of has like put me in a womp womp. Like, I just, my stomach feels huge and yucky. And so anyways, I'm just trying to get everything dialed back in. I have a freaking photo shoot in two weeks. Like I need to look the best that I can and I need to lose 15 pounds in two weeks. I'm kidding, but I at least need to not be bloated from all the dairy I've been having, right? My phone is slowly falling into my blankets. <laughs> Just like a little floating head. So I'm gonna finish getting ready, go to the gym. I'm gonna try and fast a little bit longer and just eat later today. I might even incorporate some like OMADs here and there. I feel like it's hard, like when I start eating in the morning, it like opens up the floodgates to eat the rest of the day. If I, it's easier for me to like push it off and that way I won't be eating such a huge amount of food each day. So that's kind of where 
I'm at right now and I'll finish getting ready and I will see you guys later today. Rainy day. All right, I am off to the gym. Do people not work? It is 9.37 on a Tuesday morning. I have never parked this high up in the gym parking lot, like third floor. Like why is this a jam packed event today? Like what are people doing? Why are you not at work? I do not love the sauna. It makes me nauseous and I feel like I'm suffocating. <laughs> First meal of the day, I'm going to be cooking up some ground beef. And we're going to do a couple eggies. This brand is corn and soy free. And I say nothing. And I not Lots of salt. Gonna fry up three eggs and some butter. And I'm gonna have probably half of that um, beef, so that's half a pound. And some smoked salt. Not the ideal spatula, but I don't know where mine are. They're not in the dishwasher. Yeah, come on, there we go. All right, well, that was delicious and just what I needed. Now I'm going to take some organ supplement and a few little oysters and i've also been dabbling in these electrolytes and minerals lately so i'm trying to get back to taking all my things because i feel like i felt a difference um when i haven't been being consistent i can taste the oysters i'm definitely going to be burping those up too but. All right, we are out of the house again. Um, finally returning this from the library. It's probably, I don't even know how long it's been. I got a lot of emails. We could never find it. And then we finally found it. And I also just got a letter in the mail. Um, I'm getting in trouble from the library. So we're gonna return this. We're gonna go to Target. Let's see if there's anything amazing there. And then we have Ninja Class. Let's go. Valentine's stuff a week early who am I also why why does everything have to revolve around candy and junk food like come on all right it's the end of the day dinner time time is at 4 30 um I was going to have that ground beef and just more eggs and that is not sounding appetizing so I don't even know what I'm gonna eat um, my kids just had some chicken thighs what to make, what to make. I forgot I defrosted one of these chuck rows, so I'm gonna do that in the Instant Pot. Um, I'll probably have a little bit, but I'm hungry now, and I usually don't eat dinner as late as this is gonna take to be ready. I forgot I have a leftover burger patty that I door dashed yesterday, so we're gonna get that going. Last time I shared a video with my Instant Pot, you guys were blown away by how this thing, this lid goes in, so let me show you. So see this little, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at all that grease I need to clean out. So this little notch right here, let's see, oh my gosh, I have too much crap up here. Okay, there it is. You got two little things, so it's made for that, and it just, boom. There you have it. World's worst camera angle, but I'm going to throw this thing in, doing a sear, lots of salt. Okay, so about four minutes of searing. Let's see. Flip her over. Beautiful. Salt and half a cup of water. I'm doing high pressure for an hour. I just remembered that I bought a microphone uh, to clip on to do for these videos. Didn't use it. Um, okay, my kids asked for a shake. I use a bunch of Equip products. How do I like fit in this and show everything? Um, I am an affiliate. This will be for two of them. I will do a fresh banana and then some frozen fruit. Raw milk. Cream. Oh, I wanna drink this so bad. Oh, it's so good. Oh, <laughs> Scoop of strawberry protein. A little bit of the collagen, scoop of colostrum, we'll do two. Then I open up um, a capsule, an organ capsule, and dump it in. That stuff's sticky. I will just, where are you? 
pop open one of those bad boys. Apparently you can throw the whole thing in as it goes everywhere. Oh. <clears throat> and just sprinkle that in, can't taste it. And that's it. Looks delicious. It's like strawberry milkshake, strawberry banana milkshake, but healthy. Normally I bake my bacon, uh, but this was a last minute decision. Oh, those are gonna fall. And that just felt like a pain in the ass and a little too slow. So I am pan cooking some right now. Bacon. Oh, my the best thing ever. Beef bacon is really good. Have you had beef bacon? I'm on a beef bacon kick lately. The only bummer is that it's kind of expensive. Oops, I accidentally ate it all. Hello. I, I, there. I had a deli meat sandwich this morning. Bye. <laughs> what? Why is that food in? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm getting shot at. Just wait. What if I was alive? Oh. <laughs> so you're laughing? <laughs> Alrighty. You're in my vlog. Alright, let's crack this open. <laughs> Normally I do a natural release, so it does it this it does it by itself over like 20 minutes or so, but ain't nobody got time for that. I'm hungry, I want to finish eating. Um, so I just it's supposed to when you do the natural release help it stay like more tender. So look at this. This little nugget on the end is gonna be super tender. So that's how I like the whole thing to be. I usually when I make this, um Sometimes don't put the whole thing in, like I'll chop it into like a few pieces. So honestly, a few spots are a little bit more tough than I'd like. So next time, instead, if I'm gonna do it whole, ah, instead of an hour, I'll probably like do an hour and 15, but I'm gonna shred that up in there. Let's give this a little taste of rooney Thanks for being here, guys. I'll see you next time.